Hey, how's it going everyone? Just back in with another uh, sequence of the end times. This one's in Galatians 1, 4 to 24. And um, incredible numerology in it as well. Um, Galatians 1, 4, who gave himself for our sins to deliver us from the present evil age, according to the will of our God and Father, to whom be the glory forever and ever. Amen. So right away, we have a reference to deliverance or salvation, and then during an evil age. And that's the times that we live in now. And it's in verse 1, 4, 14. That's for God's elect. So check, we have that. I am astonished that you are so quickly deserting him who called you in the grace of Christ, who are turning to a different gospel. Not that there is another one, but there are some who trouble you and want to distort the gospel of Christ. So in the latter days, in the last days, this is talking about the um, the Great Tribulation period, where there's even more evil increasing, and then there's going to be more and more deception, and then lies, you know, about who those visitors are, who the two witnesses are, and that kind of thing. But even if we are, but even if we or an angel from heaven should preach to, a, to you a gospel contrary to the one we preach to you, let him be accursed. So this is reference in the last days of how angels will be preaching the gospel in Revelation 14, 6. And so in this case, it's saying don't listen to an angel if they're teaching something contrary but again this is foreshadowing what's going to happen in the last days which i believe we're living in as we have said before so now i say again if anyone is preaching to you a gospel contrary to the one you receive let him be accursed and so there's going to be even more deception during this time oh the bible is not true it doesn't mean that and all that kind of stuff these people are evil these visitors are aliens and all that kind of stuff so it's going to just increase for now i'm seeking the for am i for am i now seeking the approval of man or of god or am I trying to please man? If I were still trying to please man, I would not be a servant of Christ. So again, this is describing a time where the 666 system is going to be di di differentiated between, you know, um, the rest of God's right hand side, you know, who have the spirit and the testimony of God. And so they're not going to seek the approval of man. And so that's, again, drawing like a, a boundary, a distinction between two groups of people that are going to be sifted during this time. For I would have you know, brothers, that the gospel that was preached by me is not man's gospel, for I did not receive it from any man, nor was I taught it, but I received it through a revelation of Jesus Christ. For you have heard of my former life in Judaism, how I persecuted the church of God. This is again foreshadowing during the time of the great tribulation, God's, the rest of God's right hand side is going to be persecuted. And it says here violently, according to Revelation 12 as well, <clears throat> the, the dragon's going to be angry and going to make war with the remnant of their seed, you know, which is the rest of God's right hand side. So this is, um, you know, coded language. How I persecuted the church of God violently and tried to destroy it. And I was advancing in Judaism beyond many of my own age among my people. So extremely zealous was I for the traditions of my fathers. But when he who had set me apart before I was born and who called me by his grace was pleased to reveal his son to me in order that I might preach him among the Gentiles. So this is going to be a time again during the Great Tribulation where um, the gospel is going to be preached worldwide to everybody. I did not immediately consult with anyone, nor did I go up to Jerusalem to those who were apostles before me, but I went away into Arabia and re returned again to Damascus. So this is again language in 17, talking about the apostles and returning to Jerusalem. And that's Christ returning with his elect. And so it's coded language. Then after three years, so in the, in the last days, it's going to be, you know, three and a half years, you know, of the great tribulation period. But again, we see consistencies in the language. Then after three years, I went up to Jerusalem to visit Cephas and remain with him 15 days. But I saw none of the other apostles except James, the Lord's brother. In what I am writing to you before God, I do not lie. Then I went to the regions of Syria and Cilicia, and I was still unknown in person to the churches of Judea that are in Christ. They only were hearing it said, sorry, they only were hearing it said, he, would, he who used to persecute us is now preaching the faith he once tried to destroy. And they glorified God because of me. And so... That's a symbolic reference to the kingdom, you know, where God will be glorified, you know, and that's in verse 24, 44. And so that's tailored for God's elect. And so here in Galatians 1, 4, we see again the sequence of the end times. Hope everyone's doing well. Bye.